Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play some Tiny Keep, made by Fi Games in 2014. Tiny Keep is a dungeon escape game, heavily roguelike in the fact that when you die, that's it. You're dead, and you have to start the whole escape all over again with a different prisoner. Escaping involves running, running away, and running towards things, and hacking things up with a sword, or not hacking them up with a sword, if you don't have one. <laughs> this screen doesn't tell me much about how the game works, and it won't tell you either. So let's begin our daring escape. As you can see, I haven't managed to escape yet. <laughs> but that doesn't mean to say that I won't! This could be the time that I do. So without further ado, let's press forward into the game. Because otherwise... How are we ever going to get out? Every time you make a new game, you make a new prisoner. And this prisoner is called Gerald. The man I've been trying to escape with all these times. Gerald has not been doing well of trying to escape. We can't even get to level 2 of 20. Because since I played, they've added the ability to start on later levels if you unlock them, I believe. So, let's go with Gerald! Into the depths of the dungeon beyond. I'm sure we'll be fine. Ignore the skeleton. Ignore the skeleton. He's not ignoring the skeleton, is he? I, I didn't think he would be. Game's loading up. And we get to see the small introduction. Which is as happy as any dungeon escape is. When it loads, there you are. We are in that dungeon there, in the medieval era, or is it the Dark Ages? But what we do know is things are pretty grim. You're not even sleeping on the bed there, Gerald. That's how grim things are. But that's okay. For now, we can escape. That note probably won't help us escape. Excellent! Oh. Oh dear. I will be. No! No, they are not. You move with the direction. You move your, um, where you're facing with the mouse. And it's wuzzed to, uh, move. A and D strafes, W and S move up, space jumps, and this thing game has real physics. I'm gonna knock over this barrel, this bucket, and that chair. There you are. I am knocking them over. You can use this to actually set traps against people, and it would seem like someone has already found us. So it's time for us to flee. You think you've got me? Have fire! Yeah! You don't like fire, do you, sir? No. You are dead. And I got a coin. And the corpse is physically getting in my- Oh! There's an archer. He doesn't like me. But fortunately, I found a shield. A guard fell asleep and I was able to just take this from him. It's gonna be a long way to the surface. I think you should have this. They didn't have that achievement there the first time I played. But the shield- Let's we deflect attacks by holding the right mouse button. You can move and have the shield out. But that does make you slower. That guard seems to have forgotten where I am, which is good. Tab. Gets the map. It updates automatically as you travel. And that's a spike trap. We want to avoid that. We also don't... Well, that's unfortunate for you, isn't it? The guards will also fall into the traps. Which is a bit silly when you consider that they're the ones that actually live here. Here is a prisoner. And there is a person trying to kill us. I think we want to actually get away from him. Oh yeah, he knocked that over, did he? They keep knocking things over. Stop knocking things over, guards. What I need to find right now is a sword. So without the sword, I'm not going to get very far. Unfortunately, all I've found right now are enemies. <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm just poor Gerald trying to escape. That's food. 
Is that a... That's the sword! There you go. I had to use it. They didn't give me a chance. They were going to take me to one of those cages. Take this. I can't bear to use it again. Well, it's a sword. That means we're now dangerous. Ha! Huh. My sword will slay thee! Aha! And now what are you going to do? You're not so... You're not so brave now, are you? How about you? There are a lot of guards. You can actually have the uh, the guards fire arrows at their own friends if you manage to maneuver their firing to make that work. And that's how this game functions a lot. A lot of physics based things. So we have a sword and we have a shield. We can be away from this place and escape. But right now, I want to get a little more gold. How you doing? No. I have a shield. Your arrows are useless. So, as you can see, it's a nice game. It's definitely got a distinct style graphically to it. Definitely gets the claustrophobic dungeon feel, doesn't it? But, uh, we don't have too much more to explore here. Hold shift to run. Hello. You're dead. You're going to die as well. Oh, you're running. No. Denied. So objective is to escape. And there are 20 levels. And I have not got anywhere near 20 levels. Maybe I've got to, like, level 6. Get this food. Restores your health. There are some bats. Bats won't hurt you. That fire will if I knock it over, though. That'll hurt a lot. Well, back to this person. We can release this person. This person can be helpful, and will follow us, and then engage in fisticuffs with anyone we encounter. They could be completely useless and just try and run away. Alternatively, they could be totally and utterly mad, and will try and kill me. This person was mad. They, unfortunately are now dead. That is what you get for trying to kill the person with the sword and shield when you have your fists. It did not end well for you. It's always a risk releasing them, but if anything, most of the time they are a distraction, if nothing else. Hey, guard! This was a poor choice for you, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. Gold is used to, uh... Oh, a room full of people. Hello. The Ravenous. You are also in a murderous rampage. I'm just not having luck with the people who I'm releasing. Yeah. Fortunately, that's not going to spread to any cages. <laughs> Once I've actually knocked one of those over and it just burned someone in their cage and killed them. So this is, a uh, Timothy Wigglesworth. Do you wish for freedom? He's decided to join me in my escape by jumping into fire. I also jumped into fire, though. And he's unfortunately being killed. I might have accidentally done that. There is, in fact, like, a lot of friendly fire. He was being burned there by that, and uh, I think my sword actually hits him. So, uh, sorry, Tim. You didn't escape. It is unfortunate, but there you go. There's no one in here particular. So, I would say that we are probably done on this level. Let's get out of here. Up and away! To get out of here, you've got to find the exit room, which is here. And here, there is a fountain with which you can put 15 gold in to get a buff. A permanent buff, but only for the duration of your character. I'm going to pay them, and I'm going to get lightning reactions. I can attack, Faster! I'd like to give you more money! Okay! Make me even faster then! Excellent! And because I like causing problems, I'm gonna knock this fire over before I leave. And manage to nearly set myself ablaze! Well done! Okay, next level! Are we actually going to survive? Who knows? 
Who knows? Floor 2 is generating. Floor 2 is going to be a bit similar to Floor 1, but there will be a difference. <laughs> if it's the same as the last time I played, anyway. The difference with this one... All locked up with some place to go. Ooh. It's been, uh... Tacked onto there with some sort of knife. Let's go. You left a note for me, did you? It's been so long since I was on site. Mm. Do you remember the pie shop on Anderson Road? Nope. Just waking up to that smell was worth more than a hundred adventures or a thousand pieces of treasure. I don't know. You could probably buy that pie shop with a thousand pieces of treasure. But here we go. This time we have a sword. Ah. And this, um, this one, unlike the last one, actually requires a hundred. But I think the enchantments you get are a lot better for it. I am not going to be saving up for that. Hello. I see there is a trap over there. You can just fall into that and hurt yourself. But I have no intention of hurting myself on that. And it led to a room with absolutely no purpose anyway. So let's move on. I shouldn't have grabbed that. We probably needed that later. I also don't want to knock over any fire on this level. We're gonna be needing that fire. Oh, there's bodies in the way. Physics isn't always helpful. Sometimes it's very not helpful. Let's, uh... Yep, have him shoot his friend in the back. Physics! One more shot should do the trick. Yep. Thank you. You made my job much easier. Hitting the monsters against each other is something you can do. There are monsters that just do not like each other whatsoever. But I don't really want to go that way. I will, however, go this way. Oh, he's running. Don't let him flee. Stab him as he flees. I'm the prisoner, and I'm the one trying to escape after all. Escape from what? And why we were in there in the first place? That's something the game doesn't tell us. Also, that guy just slumped there going, Well, I'm dead. And now he is dead. Those people we can't free from the cages. They are very dead. Even deader than dead. That's one person down. Blocking as well as also uh, physics based. If you actually aren't there when they swing, they miss. If you are there, they hit. Of course, if you have the shield out and you're blocking their specific direction, they also miss. Well, that potion, I don't want that yet. I want to go this way. Free these prisoners. Hello. You are frightened and useless and are just going to run away. I'm really not having any luck with these people, am I? But... Oh dear. A band of archers came through and locked the gate behind them. You'd better watch out. One of them has flint and tinder. This is a boss. We need to kill him to get the key. And he is a big archer. And he's got a big fiery bow. Now, there is another version that's uh, a lot harder than this. And he is a warrior. I have managed, however, to get him pinned into a corner. And thus he died horribly. There's not really much else for me to do on this floor, except escape. Which, trust me, I'm about to do. Well, there is something to the... this way, though. That'll be interesting. May oh, don't knock that over. I'll knock it over, though. Oh, well, you knocked it over! Don't knock over the... Yes, run through the fire! That's not gonna help you. Uh, grab this, though. There are a few um, things that you can collect as far as I... Ooh. A chest. In here was nothing. Sometimes there's gold. That time there was nothing. Oh well, the life of an adventurer. Or an escaper, as I am, actually. So, when we come back, folks, we have the key. We're going to flee. 
I'm gonna get some buffs while we're at it. What do I get? Featherbound. Um, not sure what that does. Maybe let's reach Empire? Ah! I'm faster with that one! And the last one! You become more skilled at dodging projectiles. Mm, maybe some arrows randomly miss? That's actually a uh, buff I've not received before. I was hoping to get the one that sometimes lets you critical, but no dice! So when we come back, folks! More fire! More escaping! And probably death! Will Gerald escape? We'll see. I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.